Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pippa Mario. In the last part, we got here into Petal Meadows and did some stuff. Didn't really get much progress. Well, actually, no, what am I saying? We did get into a lot of progress. In this episode, we are going to move on past this gate into... Petalburg. This is kind of like the Koopa Town of the last game, except this one actually has wider variety of characters, unlike last time. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we have had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? I love dragons! Dragon hooktail? That was must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on our quest we're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor though. He's old and really, really old. And such she knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are um really smart. Anyway, that anyway, the Mario eh. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. The pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find. Thanks for all your help. Ah, never mind. I was going to say something, but I'd rather not. It'll be a mystery as to what I was going to say and I'm, as I'm entering this in and paying. Yeah, that's something new about this game is that inns you actually have to pay for in this game. Normally, I wouldn't actually use inns that often. Simply because of the fact that, well, let me put it this way. In the first game, I actually tried to use it as much as I could, and I think out of habit I didn't use it in the LP last time. But normally I would use the ends a lot, but in this game I actually don't because, well, as you can tell, I actually have to pay, and because this isn't, and because I can't just get health restoration for free. Yeah. However, after having played Final Fantasy a lot, I actually have gotten used to paying. A small mid of money, so I don't know. Maybe I might use it more often. Hey, there's a pink house right here. Maybe this is where the mayor is. And those are some really bushy eyebrows you have there. Huh? What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're a thief. You're the Robert the Fifth. This is this old Koopa. Despicable. Uh, what's the Fifth? Go on, do what you want. Go, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing here to steal. Oh, I guess I have a little bit of money. Take it, you fiends! And my attack shield, too. Just leave the photos of me and this is... Can't do without those memories. What? Not these, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe it up before you... Idiot! We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting? Mm. Wait. Where did I hear about those things, things again? Ah, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornate dragon. Yes, we already know about that. Eat folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Yes, I may have heard the name. And I completely skipped over what he said, but okay. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? Sure. We got it. This does sound promising. Why, if you can get rid of us, rid us of Hooktail, we'll show you with gratitude and rewards. Which will never get you. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept my reward? Of course I won't. Because I really don't need it. What an unselfish man. You're a noble indeed. What a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Mario. Murphy? Hmm, that's a fine name. That's a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Ugh, I know I said that a minute ago, but really. Now listen up. If you're intent on getting going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe near the village. I don't know where it is, but I know that you need stone keys to reuse that pipe. The stone keys are somewhere in the Swamp Fortress. Just past the village, get them first. Oh, oh yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of the hot Hooktail monster. Oh, you bet I love dragons. Can't wait to fight it. Uh, actually, I've heard that dragons probably do exist somewhere, but I really don't know about that, and I'm not really going to get a big debate. And we got an email, which is completely new from last time. 
Think of it as what would happen if Paracarry actually did his job and we actually got to see him give us mail rather than actually having to find mail and can't seem to find my... Oh, that's what it... Here we go. Let's trying to find that real quick. Uh, we have a frankly email and the RDM registration, which I don't care about. Hello Mario, working hard, blah blah blah, blah blah. Actually, I have nothing more to say. Okay, screw that. I won't probably be reading many emails because if I remember correctly, almost all of them are junk. Probably ones that are actually worthwhile or ones that are related to the plot, but I'll get to those later. And, um, what's wrong with your eyes, sir? Pardon me for yelling like that. I was, uh, panicking. Um, how did it begin? My, my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hotel's Castle, so anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Uh, 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 well, um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good. Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was about? All about talk about issues. Yep. We'll get to them later, but first, we'll just continue on. And hey, Star Piece. Didn't know that was there. I just checked that because. No reason. Well, anyway, let's... Goomba. Anyway, attack this Goomba. Probably might skip this... Oh, never mind. I was going to skip this spot, but after seeing there's a uh, Koopa right over there, I think I might as well actually go into this fight. Um, if you have not seen the last one... Or, I'm going to go into like the rest of these battles as if you've probably never seen these guys before. Um, these guys, these are Red Koopas. They... Well, as you can just see there, I can jump on them and I'll flip them over and their defense goes to zero and I can attack them normally. However, when they are standing up, their defense is one, so might as well get them onto their backs as soon as you can. Now, there is an item in here that's going to actually help us with the next battle, or I should say is actually going to win us the next battle, but I can't seem to find it. And I'm ignoring him for the time being, and okay, now I'm going to attack him. Crap, didn't get the first hit. Uh, I'm just going to skip the next few fights. Alright, there we go. Now that's the end of that battle. Then we got five star points. All that, that's very good. Alright, back to what I was saying a minute ago. I was saying anything. Yes, I have a five second memory. What of it? Okay, here we go. Here's that item I was looking for. I was looking for a power block, which is... Oh, please don't tell me that thing is going to disappear after this battle. I really hope not. Um... Okay, in the next few battles, we're going to actually not be able to hurt our neck. We're not going to be able to hurt our enemies, enemies for what... We're not going to be able to hit... Eh, let me start over. I'm not going to be able to hurt any of our enemies in the next few minutes, because they will have a special defense, which I'll get to in a minute. But if you use the power block and some other items in a minute, you'll actually be able to hurt them no matter what. But first, I'm actually going to have to get the item and get to them. I can just hopefully yes. That was close. I was hope I was scared there for a second that it'll disappear, which it didn't. That's good. Anyway. Okay, as you can see there's a gate here, which we can't open. Yes, thank you for that. And if we investigate these pillars with these enemies, the enemies start shaking and they jump out. And you would think, oh why didn't you attack the Marin? Er, that's not my name. Actually, that is my name, but that's beside the point. You're probably asking, why didn't you attack them? And the simple answer is... Use Tattle on them, and... She'll just hurry up and use that, and use Stylish. That's a ball clip. Basically, a rock monster with a swarthy-looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but ball guys really just don't do it for me. Next HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 2. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack with, say, a pal block. As, it, as I just said there, or she just said there, they have a defense of 2, which means that my hammer won't doing anything, and I don't think jumping will do anything in late game. Ah, I don't think my jumping will do anything as well. Can someone just give me a coin? Thank you very much. And I'm going to actually use power block on them, because that will actually hurt them. As you can see. And it's very convenient that they only had 2 HP, because if they had 3, we were screwed. Or he would have been. Actually, now that I think about it, you probably don't even need the power block if you master super guarding. And I know I haven't shown it yet, even though I've been trying to. But basically, um, I think super guarding can work on some enemies, but not all. 
so I'm actually gonna have to find out for myself. I'm gonna skip this fight right here, because there's, this is gonna take a while I can tell. However, I will cut back if I actually use the Super Guard here, which will be pretty likely, considering I'm pretty good at Super Guarding Koopas like this one. So we'll just see in a minute. And we're back. I didn't get to use the Super Guard, and as you can see there, I got 9 HP left. Yeah, that was not a very good idea. However, I am pretty confident that I can do it within the next couple of battles, if not, well, crap then. But I'm just going to skip this next battle, and hopefully... Actually, no, now that I think about it, I'll probably be able to beat these guys in one move, so... I'll just cut past these guys, and there we go. Didn't get anything out of that, or actually, I did get something out of that, but it wasn't much. Well, anyway. Oh, another power block, that's what we need. Come here, you sucker. Alright, here we go. We're going to fight these next guys, and... These guys look new. And actually, I don't think we've ever seen these guys in another game since, which kind of sucks, because I like these guys. I don't know, just something about the concept of this type of first, these type of enemies I like. I'll show you in a second. As soon as I tattle him. And it's really... That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly! Next HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 4! And, they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump or hammer it, you best, better use an item. Or if we had a special move we could, but right now we can only use items such as a power block, which is just enough to kill it. So yeah, even if we could use our hammer on it, it wouldn't do anything at all. Double anything, really. So really... Yeah, just use that on the guys, and we'll be dead. So yeah, as you can see there, that was pretty much going to be a pretty pointless... Eh, that was a pretty hopeless fight had we not had the power block. Let's see, I'm trying to remember exactly where we are in time, because I don't have my watch on me right now, so I'm not really good with keeping up with the time. So instead, I'm just going to cut this fight right here. And I'm back. And I'm really hurting from trying to show off something that really probably doesn't need to be shown off. And here we have the end coupon, which I never used. Basically it allows us to use the ends without having to pay money. However, I rarely use them, as I rarely go into ends. And here we have a heart block. Or, as I said in the last game, a portable Pokemon Center. Except this time, Kanto, or whatever Pokemon region, is having a bit of tax issues. Because now, they're actually, actually having you to pay them in order to actually use their services. So no longer are they the portable Pokemon Center, but just a normal hospital as is portable. So, yeah. Now, just li now, like I said, I don't really tend to use the ins because they pay, actually have you pay money, and now I'm not going to be using the hard block, so... Yeah, there you go, and... What the heck is this thing? What the heck is going on? Oh, it has eyes. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you come all the way here to Swamp Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the star keys reach. Or stone keys rest. I don't know why I said that. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> So, what do you want to do? I'll take you on. This shouldn't be hot too hard. <laughs> You're in for it now! And, um... Is this a battle, or...? Oh no, it's another quiz show. Well, at least Twink isn't involved, so I'm good. Hey, hey, ladies and germs! This is the 65th quiz show. Perk up those ears! If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win! But get three of them wrong, and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Stone keys? Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, because we were told here in the first place that's where they are. And we, you also told us, so... Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy. But it only gets harder from here. Much harder. You're damn right that was too easy. So you prepare yourself. On to question two! What do one Mr. Softener and one Fireflower cost at Shop in Paddleburg? Guess! Total! 
Um, I'm always bad at this one because I can't seem to remember, so I'm gonna guess well. I thought so. <laughs> wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Don't let the pressure get to you. Yeah, that question's always a hard one. What is the name of the mayor in Pedalburg? That would be Kroot, I believe. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes, Regis. Apparently, he's the rock form of Regis. Urgh, that's correct. That question was too easy, but only gets harder from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and in case you're wondering, no, there is no Chuck Quizmo here, so there'll be no more telemotorting here. Tell me now, which where is the crystal store? That would be Hotel Castle. And yes, we are really sure, Regis. Alright, that's correct. Blah, blah, blah. He pretty much repeats himself every time, and even though this would be the last question, I got one wrong, so yeah. How can one get from Pell Mandles? Blah, blah, blah. That would be... a pipe. Raising a cart. Jeez, that would be... Kind of sucky. I don't know. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I don't really care too much for um, Mario Kart. Don't know why I was having a hard time getting that. Anyway, which of falling creatures have hands? That would be Koopa Troopas. Yep, that would be Koopa Troopas. And we got the quiz show correct. We win. No, that's right. You collect three answer five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Yeah, we won. That was way too easy, sir. And... Okay, anyway... So... Very... Angry! I can't believe I lost! <coughs> and I'm coughing! I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules! And now he's the poltergeist. Or... Whatever. <laughs> no, it wasn't poltergeist, it was exorcist. What am I thinking? Anyway, now that we've gotten that done, I think we, it's about time that I can uh, actually end this episode off here. So, in the next episode, we're going to be going down this pipe, and I'm Lynn Frisbee, and I'll see you down there. Bye.